from Polk County Public Libraries, and today I'm going to walk you through making this month's adult take and make craft kit, which is a floating ghost. So I'm super excited about this activity. You can start by stopping by the Columbus or Saluda Library at any time this month and picking up a kit, and your kit will have all of the materials to do this activity at home. So let's take a look inside your kit to see what's in there. We have some floral wire. We have felt for the eyes and the mouth of your ghost. We have cheesecloth, and this is a 90 grade cheesecloth, so it's a little bit thicker than some of the cheesecloth you may see at the store, and it's gonna be the body of our ghost. I also have a balloon that when we blow it up, it's gonna be the head of our ghost to give us that ghostly shape. And there's also some powder in a container in your bag. And this is actually a very concentrated form of liquid starch. So we're going to mix it with some water um, to make our ghost stand up and float on its own. And then the final thing in your kit is a reminder about our upcoming film series at the library every Friday at 1 o'clock. Um, during the month of October, we're going to be showing Alfred Hitchcock movies. So we have Vertigo, Rear Window, North by Northwest, and The Birds showing to give us a little spooky vibe this season. And then from home, you'll want to get a spray bottle. It doesn't need to be a big spray bottle, but you are going to need to mix your, um, your powder starch in with some water so that we get that, um, that heavy starch that we need to hold our ghost up. You're not going to use the whole bottle, so you'll fill your bottle up about halfway, and then that way it's it's ready to go and you get kind of a thicker consistency, okay, of your liquid starch. And then you'll also need a soda can from home. And you can use a soda can of any sort, but this is basically going to be the body of your ghost. And then we'll blow our balloon up to give a head shape. We'll wrap our wire around the sides, just like I did here. And I'll zoom in on this in just a minute but it'll give you the arms of your ghost so it's kind of floating on your table when you're finished. And then of course, you'll need to set your ghost outside in the sunshine and let it dry, preferably not on a windy day because we don't want your ghost to fly away. But your liquid starch after your ghost is all covered in that, you'll need to let it dry completely before taking out the balloon. But we will, we will do that all in this video. So follow along and let's get started. All right, so let's start making our ghost. You can see I've got my can ready. You're also going to need your floral wire and I've already blown up the balloon. And in reference to the can, you can see that I didn't blow the balloon up as full as you could because these are pretty big balloons. So I just filled it up about halfway and you can judge the size based on what the head looks like versus the body of your ghost and this might even be a really big head for your ghost so you may want to make it a little bit smaller but go ahead and blow up your balloon and set it over to the side next you're going to take your floral wire and stretch it out and we're going to wrap it around the, the lip of the can here try to get it pretty centered that way your arms are even on your ghost And it doesn't need to be anything spectacular. You can just wrap it around twice like you would a twist tie. So you're left with something that looks like this where you've got your arms out to the side. And then next, I'm gonna bend those arms in a little bit. ghostly arms. Really cute. You can set the head back on there again if you want just to try to see what it looks like. Now if you are putting this outside on a windy day I'm going to recommend using tape to secure your balloon to your can. Just gonna make sure that it doesn't fly away. There you go. So arms, 
arms, ghost head, ghost body, and next we'll need our cheesecloth. So we're gonna drape our cheesecloth over the top of this and then spray it with our liquid starch. All right, we're gonna take our cheesecloth and drape it over our ghost. So unfold it. And just drape it over just like that. You wanna make sure that the arms are covered, that the body is covered. You also wanna make sure that you have enough of a base for your ghost because this is gonna be the part that helps your ghost to float in the air. So this is before we add the starch. Move that one over to the side. After you add the starch, you'll remove the balloon and the can and the floral wire and your ghost will float on its own. So this is after the starch, this is before the starch. You wanna spray it pretty thick with the liquid starch. That way it can stand up on its own afterwards because again, you'll pop the balloon underneath or use scissors to just cut a small hole in it. That way it doesn't make too loud of a noise. You'll remove the floral wire and the can. And then our final step, we're going to use our felt piece and add eyes and a mouth if you wish.